Um, and so we are here at the pretty much the end of the party. Can you use the word party? Oh, I think you could, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how did everything go? Ah, oh, very well, Tony. Yes. We got the man in here. But anyway, so Paul, how did the whole thing go? How do you feel? It was absolutely wonderful. I mean, this guy has done a great job. He's he's taken the success of last year, built on it, made it better, made it bigger. How many people we have here tonight? 450. That's what they charged me for. <laughs> 450. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the actual? 450. No, I think, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Yeah. 161. Yeah, probably. <laughs> now, but it is important that we say, you know, this is a charity event. I said this in my introduction, and the British Chamber will put a little percentage of their money to their causes. The Australian Chamber will put to their causes, and here in Padia, well, specifically for the Movers and Shakers, then it will go to the Lighthouse Club, Lighthouse, which is British Chamber, Aussie Chamber. Yeah, yeah it's split in th three ways. Yeah. yeah but, but for the Lighthouse Club, that'll go to the. Uh, Melissa Cosgrove Foundation, so it'll help children directly here in Padilla who have been disadvantaged by the building trade. It's wonderful stuff. I mean, everybody's had a great night. That's great. I, I am interviewing Paul. You are? <laughs> so, yeah, that's yeah. good. Continue, continue. <laughs> no, no, but how, how do you feel? How did the whole thing go? Nah, I'm very happy, you know, it's a great turnout and uh, I mean, there's been a lot of effort put into the uh, Duro. You could, you, could, you could almost say like a project, you know. Um, although we only kicked it off marketing-wise a month ago, but you know, it's uh, 450 people here, quality crowd, I would say. You know, they're all business leaders in the Eastern Seaboard. They're all players. Uh, they're all big players, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm very, very moving and shakers. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's pretty much like a corporations of any industries that you would imagine. Even the media industry themselves, they actually yeah. Yeah. Oh, they want to get, get together. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they did and uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I didn't really invite anyone to the party, but the biggest shock was almost when CNN came in and they were actually here. And uh, But apart from that, you know, it's about the... You uh, it's joking. <laughs> no, no, it's not joking. Really? It's not joking. It's, no. it's serious. It's, it's true. Serious. No, no, it's serious. And... Um, the feedback that I got on the night itself was really absolutely thrilling. Um, prior to the event, I told you before, uh, Paul, I got inquiries like, you know, people from Malaysia, Hong Kong, uh, you know, can we fly in for the event? And if you ask me why, I, I can't really tell you, you know, but it, it just turned out this way. And, you know, tonight I was a bit worried. When we just started the reception, there was a bit of a traffic jam sure. coming to Patia. Yeah. And um, so we started off pretty late. Um, but by the time 6.30 reached, I saw 400, sure. maybe 500 people out, outside, you know, it was great. Yeah, absolutely so, great. Case. Now, I, mean, I think the last question has to be, where do you go from here? We'll put it another notch up next year. Really? Let's, let's try, yeah, let's try. But then we'll... The, this is five star already, you know, so how much further can you go? But I think by the time we're a year further than, than today, we grow a larger community because I'm the chairman of Lighthouse and Lighthouse is doing its thing every month anyway. So that's growing a well, larger you know, community. You know, I had, I had an idea how you can save some money, but still have the quality. Tell me. <laughs> uh, when you have the swim rear models, only pay for the bottom half of the big Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tony, cut, cut, <laughs> cut. <laughs> That's no, all right. No, yeah. He's making, trying to make his no, 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 no. He's speaking on behalf of okay. 10,000 people. My idea is, you know, if you throw a network party, you can do a real, true corporate network party. But if you spice it up a little bit, oh, yeah. I mean, the effect yeah, 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 is yeah. much better. And, you know, it's, it's already 10.30 and there's still 300 people here, you know, so, yeah. What are you trying to do is you're trying to setting up a new set of standard, like a kind of a new level for any networking in the Eastern Seaboard or in Thailand? Or I can't really say put up a new level. The thing is that um, what you're trying to do is to create maybe a little bit of a different vibe to a network project. No, it is different. It is different. The, when, I, when I started to do Lighthouse, um, with all due respect, if you're trying to push name cards onto an event, sure. um, 
or if you're being introduced to a friend that says you know listen if you want to do business do business with this guy because yeah, yeah. he's a friend of mine what I see with Lighthouse Lighthouse is growing a, a, a friend community okay. and everyone is very you know loyal to to come to the Lighthouse functions um, and and the same thing is with movers and shakers you know it's like almost a friendly community sure. um, but they're all big players in the market, so and that's what we're looking at. Okay. Hello, Zanny. Hello. Zanny, are you going to be coming to Movers and Shakers in 2011? I would love to, and everything going to be bigger and better and more fun. Well, I'm, I'm sure you will be even a bigger and better star by then. I'm sure too. And when I mean bigger, I don't, I don't mean, you know. No, I don't mean that too. <laughs> I, I, I'm still keeping a uh, small one, a little one. Get back to the serious business. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, Listen, no. I think we're going to wind it up, okay, guys? Yep. Okay, all right. Okay, we've had a great night here. I'm going to have one more interview with the people who organize the uh, fashion event, the swimwear. And uh, you know, you never know, it might be done topless, but certainly not by me. Okay. All right, so I'll leave this with Paul. Thank you, thank you. Top and top. Okay, well, you've seen the fashion show, the swimwear show, wasn't it fantastic? And we're just about to wrap things up, but there's time to catch up with two more beautiful women here at Centara. This is Katarina, or Katharina, yeah. and also Ritz. Ritz, yeah. Ritz. Now, let's start with you, Ritz. You, what, what's your part in tonight? What do you do? Well, actually, I just help uh, Katarina to organize all the fashion show for tonight. <laughs> Normally, yes, yes, I try, you know, but I uh, uh, organize all the fashion show uh, okay. for Katarina most of it and um, uh, for the other it so the, these models that we see and they work for you yes for tonight yes okay well they were very beautiful thank you so much and, and you are as well those amazing eyelashes thank you are they real <laughs> Yeah. All right, okay. Do you want to have them after the show? <laughs> sure, and I'll take our shoes as well. Okay, so the, you you supplied the swimwear, right, for yeah. tonight, right? Yeah. It's beautiful swimwear. Yeah, isn't it? Right? Yeah. yeah you, this is your, this is your, well, it's not just your passion, it's your business, right? Yeah, yeah, it's my business, yeah. Okay. So where are you, you're based in Bangkok? I'm ba no, i actually based in uh, Phuket. Oh, really? Yeah, but I, I, you know, I do business in Bangkok too, so we, we launch with department stores in all over Thailand. Oh. Okay. Central Shidlam next week. Oh, Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, so you've got all the all the fingers in the right pies. Yeah. So some of the the swimwear we've seen tonight, how much would that cost? Oh, the top one. The top one the would top be. One, you mean you mean the, the top? Oh. The top. The, the top. <laughs> the top one would be like eight thousand baht. Eight thousand. Yeah. So. Okay. So this is really pricey, but the uh, Sunseeker is about three thousand. So it's there's a range there. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Well, I, you know, I heard a few francs saying they would actually pay more tonight for. I'm sure. The, the tonight, used. <laughs> tonight the price is really high, sky high. Yeah, yeah no, only because the models have worn them, right? Yeah, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> they're gorgeous. I'm, I'm being a bit... The I show mean, was great. No, it was very yeah. nice, very nice. And actually, I have to say, it was very nice how the models, they all had the... Humor. Uh, well, they had the humor, but it's it's great And the how, bodies. I didn't know it. <laughs> No, but how they, how they all have their hair, you know, so you make them all look the same so that the focus is actually on the swimwear, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's part of the idea, but still, yeah, yeah it's also like... 
eye-catching, eye-catching. Well, it is eye-catching, and you are as well, darling. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah. you. Where are you from? I'm from Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> long way from here. A long way from here, and, well, my God, Sweden now, right? Yeah. You don't want to be there this no, time no. of year, right? Unless you like snow and ice bears and, you know. No. Have, you ever, have, you ever had, have you ever experienced snow? Oh, well, I have experienced in a, in a cold winter, but never going to Sweden yet. You know, I, I would love to see you in that dress oh. in minus sub minus temperatures. Uh, don't you like to see me in a swimming wear from a Catalina? <laughs> okay, I think we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, we're going